Frankie's Uptown is a neighborhood bar with an old school finish and joining us with more is Frankie himself, Frankie Lee, and Chef Andrew Collins. Thank you guys so much for coming in. Absolutely, thanks All for right, having so us. so it smells delicious. I, sm I think I smell this over yes, here. Yes, you do. Oh my gosh. Philly cheesesteak stroll and a Summerlin stroll. Our <sighs> strolls are our creation that is specific to our location. It's a uh, hybrid of a stromboli and a calzone. And it's, uh, oh it's done a certain gosh. way where it's nice and thin and crispy. It's not too doughy and, and real bready, and, and uh, there's a bunch of different ones. We have morning mm. strolls, we have night strolls, and uh, so we brought a couple for you guys to have once Smells we leave. Smells delicious. Yes. Okay, so um, we'll go through the food in a moment, but I okay. want to just talk about the rest or the restaurant. Is it a bar slash restaurant, yeah, obviously? bar, full restaurant. Um, let's talk about it. What's kind of the vibe, and what can people expect, and where is it, and all that? It's in downtown Summerlin. Okay. It's... Uh, it, the vibe is uh, an old school neighborhood bar. That's okay. what we wanted to bring was um, the old school feel. Uh, we wanted it to be comfortable for people. We wanted it to, uh, when, we, when we talked to Howard Hughes about bringing our concept there, it was everybody else was kind of big box names. They're all corporate uh, run uh, restaurants and we wanted to just have a neighborhood bar for locals. That's it's, cool. So it's basically uh, a place created by locals for locals. Are you are you guys from here? Yeah, we're all well. We're not born and raised, but 25 years. Where are you from? We're from, I'm from northeastern Pennsylvania, outside of Philly. Okay, so like obviously like the East Coast. East so Coast. Yeah, I'm thinking yeah. of like one of those you know old school spots, like in one of the mob movies or something. Uh, it, I don't you know, know why. That's what it I'm thinking. It has that feel. Yeah. It, it just <laughs> happens to have that feel. Somehow it creeped in. <laughs> I'm not saying um, you're a monster or anything. I'm not. You know, I didn't but assume that you were saying I that. I kind of get that, that feel. <laughs> you, know, you know, but. Um, it, it, there's brick and there's dim lighting. See, there's and brick. There's, <laughs> See know, what I'm saying? I'm, uh, I, I'm onto something here. There's surprises behind the bricks at some point. <laughs> but, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, and obviously the cocktail. So let's talk to you, Chef. Talk about what um, people can expect food and drink wise. Uh, we definitely put passion and creativity into what we did. Kept it very simple, but we did it right. Um, example here is our uptown Italian sushi. Mm, it is a Italian uh, sushi. Carpaccio of shaved ribeye, um, has arugula. Sun-dried tomato, and it's going to be finished off with a little pinch of salt. At the restaurant, you can expect edible chopsticks. They look edible very edible chop chopsticks. Yes. Okay, and what are they made of? It's bread. Oh, it's, it's bread. bread. We're, we're Italian. Yes. <laughs> yes. See what I'm saying? The Italian feel. Okay, so edible it's chopsticks. Hard to hide. Never heard of that, but uh, it sounds really fun. And then obviously you guys have a, a you know a bar. We have a full Not bar. We have uh, over 100 brown whiskeys to choose from. Mm, so it's a drink. whiskey bar. We have great cocktails. Uh, our bar manager, Jasmine, um, trains our staff to make great whiskey cocktails, and they're yes. fantastic. They're not too sweet. They're very creative. Um, all the whiskeys that we have are uh, some of my favorites, some of uh, the industry favorites, and just enough for people to try, and, and uh, there's, there's a lot to choose from. Me and we Jordan also, over there, that floor manager right there, we're whiskey fans. Uh -huh. That's yeah. good. So yes, we have we have a lot of those, and we also have uh, the Diamond Cube here, and we have because we're across the street from the Aviator Stadium, uh -huh. we have baseball spheres with the oh, threads cool. molded yeah. into the spheres for the uh, whiskey for the, drinks. For the whiskey, so drinks. we have baseballs and diamonds. Awesome. Yes. I mean, I'm telling you, you're all getting creative this New and all York unique. Feel. It's just all unique stuff. Okay, great. Real quick, we have to wrap. But where is it located? One more time. It is in downtown Summerlin. It's um, right across from Aviator. Right across from the Correct. Aviator Stadium, okay. closest to Ethan Allen and Red Rock Casino. Perfect. Yes. Thanks, guys, for coming in. Really Thank you appreciate very much it. For all right, uh, Crystal, over to you. Yeah. 